Hi, and namaste. My name is Henry Jodicario. I'm a French-Canadian psychotherapist and a filmmaker. Today I would like to talk to you about a very extraordinary young man. His name was Vishnu Janan. He has now been turned into some sort of a saint, an icon within the Hare Krishna movement. And I think that this is very unfortunate. In 1969, I joined the Hare Krishna movement in Los Angeles. This is a picture of me around that time. And Vishnu Janan became my mentor. I was 19 years old and he was 21 years old. He was truly an amazing singer, a musician, and a very sincere devotee of his guru, Swami Bhaktivedanta. I was with him from the month of May 1969 till the month of October 1969. I was then sent to England and then to France to open an Hare Krishna center. I lost contact with Vishnu Janan only to hear that in 1976 he committed suicide in India. Vishnu Janan was probably bipolar. He was the type of devotee that had so much love and faith in his guru, Swami Bhaktivedanta, that he would have believed anything that his guru would have told him. And if you look at my other videos, you can see that Swami Bhaktivedanta's quotes on women were very denigrating. His quotes on homosexuals was very denigrating, calling homosexual demoniac activities. Even quotes on races, where he called the black race an ugly race. But for Vishnu Janan, his guru was perfect. And for him, all the stories pertaining to Krishna and Lord Chaitanya, a saint that appeared in Bengal in the 16th century. For him, this was all truth. For him, there was no room for doubting. So sometime in 1976, he went and asked Swami Bhaktivedanta a question. The question was, if a sannyasi, if a monk, break his vows, should he commit suicide as did one of the follower of Lord Chaitanya in the 16th century? And Swami Bhaktivedanta said yes, but a few minutes later gave some lame explanation as far as I'm concerned, saying that in the days we were living it was not recommended to commit suicide if a monk had sex with someone. But it was too late. As soon as Vishnu Janan heard the first few words of Swami Bhaktivedanta, he disappeared and he apparently paid some Indian people to shackle him and throw him in the Ganges River. He was 28 years old. Vishnu Janan, he had been married, he knew what sex was all about, but he had dedicated his life as soon as he came to the Hare Krishna movement to his guru. And now, as you look on YouTube, many devotees of the Hare Krishna movement want to point to him as an example, as a saint, as somebody that had extreme love for Lord Krishna and his guru Swami Bhaktivedanta. My point 
is that I was also a monk at the age of 21 year old Swami Bhaktivedanta gave me the so-called sannyas asked me to promise in front of him that I would never have sex again and I would serve him with my heart, my mind and my soul and I did make this promise sometime in 1971 but I fell in love with a beautiful woman in 19. 73 and I decided to get married and later on had four children with my beloved wife. Swami Bhaktivedanta as far as I'm concerned was extremely irresponsible in giving the order of sannyas to so many people. I think that the Hare Krishna movement is making a very big mistake in now painting Vishnu Janan as a tremendous saint, as somebody so devoted to his guru that he would commit suicide. There's been dozens of suicides in the Hare Krishna movement, be monk or others, because of this philosophy that, oh, I'm not good enough to serve God. I have committed such great sin, I should die. So it was in the 16th century, I should do the same thing in the 20th century. This is a warning because there is still an organization that follows the footstep of Swami Bhaktivedanta and are still offering men to become monk because let's face it Bhaktivedanta said it that the attachment of a woman for a man will elevate that woman to the body of a man in her next life but if you ever get attached to a woman even if you love her and she's your wife if you love her too much, you will end up in the body of a woman in your next life. I invite you to look at my other video where I mentioned the quotes of Bhaktivedanta on women. They are atrocious and responsible for untold amount of abuse by men in the Hare Krishna movement. Now, to say that this is all the fault of Vishnu Janan and not the fault of his guru, in my opinion, is an error. Swami Bhaktivedanta married people, you marry this one and you marry this one, and then his followers did the same. You marry this one and you marry that one, and another part of his philosophy is all oh, your wife is an impediment to your spiritual enlightenment which is basically to fall in love with the blue god Krishna so give up your wife and just serve me and serve Krishna it's an absolutely crazy philosophy that has cost the life of many if you are a devotee of Krishna listening to me if you have a friend family member that are in this cult I would really warn you to be very careful to investigate deeply what you're believing in 